The World Hydropower Congress has delivered a manifesto for change, making the case for new investment in sustainable hydropower and the importance of renewables working together to achieve net zero emissions. The San Jose Declaration on Sustainable Hydropower, the official outcome of the 2021 Congress, sets out the significance of hydropower to the clean energy transition. So, why do we need this call for action? Scotland, with its sweeping mountains and high rainfall, is a natural home for hydropower. And it's also the country where global leaders will soon be meeting to make decisions aimed at reducing carbon emissions and limiting climate change. And I'm here at the Kruagan Power Station, the largest pump storage hydroelectric power station in Scotland, to find out more about how this technology can play a key role in the clean energy transition. The world is on red alert. We all know it. There's never been a greater consensus about the need to do something. Eddie Rich, the CEO of the International Hydropower Association, believes the clock is ticking on the need to invest in more sustainable hydropower. And he wants world leaders to recognise the crucial role it will play in balancing a decarbonised grid by plugging the gap left by wind and solar power when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine. We're going to have a whole lot more wind, we're going to have a whole lot more solar, but unless there's something to back it up, then just as we should be accelerating, we're going to stall. And there are only three options. This is one of them. The other option is fossil fuels and the third option is blackout and we don't want that. So at the 2021 World Hydropower Congress, a new manifesto for change has been launched and the course is now set for the COP26 conference in Glasgow in November. What's known as the San Jose Declaration on Sustainable Hydropower makes the case for the role it can play and how renewables can work together to achieve net zero emissions. It tries to set out what are the policies needed to make sure that hydropower happens and grows at the pace that it needs to. What are the practices that the hydropower industry itself needs to do to demonstrate its sustainability? And thirdly, what can we all do together to change a perception about our hydropower? The two key lines from the San Jose Declaration are sustainable hydropower is a clean, green, modern and affordable solution to climate change. And going forward, the only acceptable hydropower is sustainable hydropower. Here at Kruiken, there are plans in place to build another underground pumped hydro storage power station, which will double the electricity generating capacity of this site. The World Hydropower Congress and particularly the San Jose Declaration is key because it helps further demonstrate the sustainability of hydro assets around the globe um, and if we can demonstrate this sustainability message it helps the general public and governments form a view on how this is a key part of the energy transition and how we can support the move towards net zero not just in the UK but in a, in a global sense. But achieving these aims will require not just political will and determination, but a doubling of investment in the hydropower sector. Well, I want to say to world leaders, you've got to wake up. We need an energy source that is reliable. And in order to make sure that projects like this at Ben Krugen get built, you need to make sure that the markets reward not just electricity generation, but also flexibility and storage. The race is on to fix this hidden crisis within the climate change crisis and provide the incentives needed to support energy storage and sustainable hydropower. The case has been made, now it's the turn of world leaders to respond and show they understand the crucial role it will play in combating climate change and ensuring energy security.